Next up, 9 versus 10 as Chip Kelly takes UCLA to Eugene to face Oregon, the program that he helped redefine. Both teams coming off bye weeks as they head into this one. BMAC, what will be the biggest difference maker in this game, and what's your lean with the Ducks favored by 6.5 of the total, a titch over 70 points? A quarterback play, I think, will be the biggest difference maker in this matchup because both teams, both offenses, they rely so much on their quarterback, not just throwing the football, guys, but, of course, improvising and making things happen with their legs. And with that being said, give me the home team. I'm leaning. I'm taking the Ducks. And here's why. Throughout his collegiate career, you've had two names associated with Bo Nix. Bad Bo Nix, good Bo Nix. And so far, outside of that one, week one debacle, we've seen good Bo Nix, not to mention at home. Give me the home Bo Nix. Based on what we've seen when playing at home in Aztec Stadium, he's completing over 70% of his passes. Nine touchdowns, zero interceptions. Per yards per rush, around 10 yards per average. Five rushing touchdowns. His offensive line, the entire year, they have only surrendered one sack. The Ducks are 5-0 ATS in the last five home games. This is a big time battle, in conference battle. I like everything that I've seen from UCA, UCLA this season. But going to Aztec Stadium in that atmosphere with that noise, no question. Give me the ducks. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you, BMAC. Like I've I've long been labeled a Bo Nix hater. I've always considered myself more of a Bo Nix realist. He is an up and down quarterback, but for as awful as he and the rest of that Ducks team looked in the season opener against Georgia, they have been much better ever since. And Bo Nix, the one thing that's always been a problem with him is taking care of the football. He's done a fantastic job of it, and I think he's going to continue doing a fantastic job today. Who's going to win this game? I think the best play in this one is on the total. I know it's high, and I usually stay away from this when it happens, but I'm going over because when I broke this game down, these are two very difficult teams, two excellent defenses, two good defenses, and two dynamic quarterbacks, and they both also have a couple other things in common. On third and fourth downs, these are two of the best offenses in the country. Conversely, on third and fourth downs, these have been two of the worst defenses in the country at getting off the field. So when I look at this matchup, I don't know how many stops there are going to be from either defense in this one. I think this is going to be a tennis match back and forth, up and down the field. I'm the over. I think this is going to be an incredible football game, and I can't wait to watch it. As mentioned, it's 9 versus 10, and the Ducks have won 9 of the last 10 meetings since 2008. Tom Fornelli and Brian McFadden breaking down our top. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.